Welcome to my channel. Hi, my name is Lohi, and this is Time with Lohi. If this is your first time clicking on my video. Hi, and welcome to my channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, in this video, I'm going to be explaining how to calculate a 4.0 GPS. Before we get right into this video, I want to thank you. I want to say thank you to everyone that has clicked on my video, shared it, commented, liked it in any way. Two of my videos just hit. 1000 views that is crazy 1000 views you might just look at it as a 1k but like 1000 people actually watched my video so i want to say a big thank you to everyone that did that i'm going to be teaching you guys how to calculate a 4.0 gps system a system that operates on a 4.0 system because there is 5.0 there's 4.0 there are other gps systems but today i'm going to be explaining how to calculate the 4.0 GPS system. Make sure you subscribe to my channel before you keep on watching this video. And yeah, 4.0 GPS system. Countries that operate on this GPS system, examples are India, USA, just like the 5.0 GPS system, like I have explained before, the 4.0 is not really that different. So in order to calculate the 4.0 GPS system, in the 4.0 GPS system, the grades are as A, B, C, D, and F. There's no E in the 4.0 GPS system. The A is equal to 4 points, the B is equal to 3 points, C is equal to 2 points, the D is equal to 1 point, and the F is 0. As I said, there is no E. The general formula for calculating a GPA is your total quality points divided by your total cumulative units that is your tqp divided by your tcu so to make it easier i'm going to give you guys an example supposing a person is taking six courses for a semester and total quality points for each course is three units four units two units one unit three units and two units your total cumulative units is going to be 15 units now supposing the grade that the person gets for the total semester is an a a b a d an f a c and an a so that's the person's grade on each of the courses that the person got now we take those points attached to the grades as i said earlier and we fix it to each of the grade that the person got in each course and if you total that, that is 14. That is your total cumulative units. Now we're going to times the person's grade by each of their course units. So as I will put everything on the screen. So for the first course, three times four, it will be equal to 12. The second course is four units. Multiply by B, which is three, which will be equal to 12 also. I'm just going to put everything on the screen so that I don't have to talk much, but this is how it looks. We are going to accumulate all the answers and we are going to add everything which will give us 40. That 40 is our total quality points. And our 15 is our total cumulative unit. By the time we do 40 divided by 15, that will give us a 2.6. If you look at 2.6 on a 5.0 GPA, that is not the best, it's not really good. But if you look at a 2.6 on a 4.0 GPA system, that is a slightly B grade, which is actually good on a 4.0 GPA. I hope I've explained it to your understanding on how to calculate the 4.0 GPA system. If you don't know how to calculate the 5.0 GPA system, I will link it down in my description box. I have a video explaining that. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you once again to everybody that has clicked on my video, that has liked it, that has commented it. Thank you. I see all the comments. Thank you to everybody. It is very, very encouraging because, yeah, it's very encouraging to just know that your work is being appreciated and I appreciate everyone that clicks on it one way or the other. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.